Hi, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another video review. I just watched uh, Pee Wee's Big Holiday, and <laughs> Joe uh, Marinello was in it, and he has been in a lot of different television shows. And now he looks. He's very familiar. I really haven't seen him in any of the television shows that he's been in, but I knew who it was, and he was a really cool character. I, I instantly liked him. He was very uh, gregarious and warm and enjoyable and entertaining, but to see Paul again in a starring role in his own film, what, for me, it was the most beautiful... <laughs> just nostalgia pouring over me and I absolutely I loved it I loved every moment of it. I savored it and it just it had a lot of good points in it and it's again it was about somebody who never left his hometown and was not comfortable in breaking their routine until until he meets Joe and then everything changes and uh, he gets him to <clears throat> to leave Fair Fairview, which is a small town, and I can relate a lot to this because I come from a small town too. Uh, but it was <laughs> interesting. There was one scene where, where Joe asks him before he decides to say la vie and carpe diem. <laughs> when um, he says, have you ever had two women fighting over you? And I thought, wait a minute, that's from Pee Wee's Big Circus. And no one else would have known that had they not seen the second film. But this, the second film, uh, unfortunately, was a huge letdown from Pee Wee's Big Adventure, which is the best. I mean, it's it's the pinnacle of all of his movies. This one is almost as good. It's, it's just as good as, as Pee Wee's Big Adventure. And, and it has all the likable, uh, entertaining, uh, cheesy, punny uh, moments that we've come to know and love and it's uh, childlike and innocent and adventurous and imaginative and clever and I noticed something I thought hmm yeah as a fan of cartoons growing up uh, the music was done by Mark's mother's ball who did the theme song from Rugrats if you if you know that dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and I thought, oh, yeah, that was familiar, and again, nostalgia, because I loved, I loved Rugrats growing up, and huge part of my everyday existence. I mean, I was addicted to that cartoon growing up, and I, I also watched All Grow Up, <clears throat> even though All Grow Up, I, I don't think it held a candle to the original. It was the, the original was the best. I'm sorry. Just like anything else, the original usually is the best in a lot of respects. But uh, I have to say that Pee Wee's Big Holiday was just, it was a delightful romp down memory lane. And it was just so lighthearted and fun. And just just to see Paul again and uh, reprising his role as, as Pee Wee was just, um, it was precious for me. I just... The <laughs> There were a lot of things that I mean made me laugh out loud, and I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. I thought I'm a, I'm an adult, and I'm laughing out loud at this stuff. And it, it was still good, and it, it just proves that you don't have to swear to be funny, and you can still have innuendo, and and do it in a subtle way, and it's very um, very innovative and ingenious. Just just his humor, the way that he does it in a, a very tongue-in-cheek manner is just outstanding and uh, I just I adore him I, I'm still a big fan of Paul and um, the other thing that he was uh, involved with was Blacklist he he played a villain in Blacklist this is the second time he's played a villain the other time was when he was a voice on uh, Tron Uprising which I miss immensely bring back Tron Uprising please they're not going to listen to me Oh well, I tried, but as far as movies are concerned, I give this one uh, four stars out of five. It was it was nearly perfect. The only imperfection that I saw was the <laughs> the the exchange between um, Joe and Pee Wee when he asked that question, "Have you ever had two women fight over?" I thought, 
Uh, if you're a fan of Mr. Herman's work, then you would know. <laughs> Going back, and I thought, oh my god, I sound like such a purist, but that was the, that was my only nag and my only nitpick, and it's just minor kvetching there, but, um, still, I, I thought it was an insanely good movie, and just, <laughs> there were some moments that were really, really funny, uh, <laughs> And yeah, you know, when he when he goes to the snake museum and when he screams like when he screams like a little girl, I would just love to have that sound effect because that sound effect is everything and more. Uh, they uh, this the stylist the the salon uh, quartet that he meets that was cool. I love that group. They were. They were styling. I, I liked them. They, they were hip. Uh, but Joe, I, I just, I liked all the characters. It was, you know, like a Bollywood film for me. Because when you watch a Bollywood movie, it's just like this. There are no characters that you will hate. You just, you fall in love with every single character. And you th you, you uh, get caught up in their plight if they have a plight. And then um, you just, you can't hate anybody. There weren't really, there were, uh, yeah, there was only, there were conflicts that Pee Wee had to face, but he, you knew he was going to overcome them. I mean, that was one, one part of it that if you've seen his films before, yeah, there's a little bit of peril. There's a little bit of, um, <clears throat> some compromising, well, he gets himself into a, a very compromising situation. Uh, I'm not going to say what happens that you think. Only Pee Wee could get himself into a situation like that, but uh, you know he he comes out ahead, and it just it just shows you the resolve he has, the resiliency and determination, and I just thought I thought yeah I needed that right now. It it just proves that uh, you know you can bend the rules just a little bit. It doesn't don't break the rules. You can bend them. Bending's okay, and and he did that and. Uh, Meeting that other peewee. Oh, I just, that was so sweet. I thought that was so cute. And, oh, now I ship them. I'm sorry. I I like shipping. I ship for a living anyway, so why not? I, it's the perfect ship. It really, really is. And if I find fan art of it, oh, I'm going to cherish it forever. But I'm hoping at some point in time I can actually meet Mr. Rubens as... He was a hallmark of my childhood. I idolized him, and I just I think that he is a remarkable person, very talented, and so funny. the The balloon solo thing that he does, <laughs> he plays jingle bells on it. Ah! <laughs> I'm be thinking about that for a long time. Um, still excellent film I just loved it I don't I don't care what the haters say about it I I know it's not Pee-wee's big a big adventure but who cares I mean it is he has not lost a single step he's still as spry as they come and he's full of energy and he looks good in that suit he will never lose his appeal he just that suit is very cosmopolitan as i said he he is the image of um of childhood as far as i'm concerned and so i have to say about that and <laughs> it was just a wonderful film and i'm i had i just had a blast watching it and it made my day so that's all i have to say till next time live long prosper ciao tootsie <laughs>